NBC5 News. Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, we still have a little bit of rain out there. It's mainly in southern Vermont, but the snow certainly made its presence known earlier to the north. Generally didn't stick, so that was good news, I guess, unless you wanted it to stick. Looks like there's a little bit of snow probably near Mount Snow in southern Vermont right now, but that would be it. We do have some temperatures that are below 32, actually most of northern New York. So it's getting to be that time of year where there can be some slick spots. So that's the... Uh, message there for that part of the region, but everyone else is a little bit warmer once you head south. 40 is still the number in Lebanon, but it is 28 in Newport and 32 in St. Jay. So similar situation there. So the period of snow and rain tonight is almost done. As we just saw, we'll have some sun tomorrow. I actually like the looks of late afternoon tomorrow. This time of year, it's so hard when you have clearing later in the day because the sun is setting earlier, so it's a smaller window than it Otherwise would be say in the summer, but still pretty nice tomorrow and then rain changing to snow is still the expectation for Thursday night into Friday. So on a future cast, we have clouds tomorrow morning. A shower is still possible early on, but past noontime through sunset is when the sky really starts to clear out from southwest to northeast as we go through Wednesday. And then Zeta comes north. It doesn't look so great as of the last 24 hours after it came across some terrain there, the Yucatan Peninsula. But it's still a tropical storm, still expected to be a hurricane when it comes into Louisiana tomorrow, later tomorrow, into early Thursday morning. And then it races up towards south of New England over the Atlantic Ocean. And the moisture, as we've been saying, will run into the cold air which will be coming down from Canada. So it's not really in place initially. That's why it's rain at eight o'clock on Thursday night, but it's changing to snow. And I think the northern edge, the fringe of this precipitation, snow in this case, will be about Saranac Lake to Burlington to St. J. So in terms of accumulation potential, you really have to go south. Rutland, Lebanon, and then especially as you go up in between those two locations into the mountains. And I think this gets out of here by early afternoon on Friday. So three to six inches is definitely in the cards for the higher spots. Southern Adirondacks, basically southern Vermont and maybe the mountains of New Hampshire. The dusting or covering line could come close to Burlington, but I think that would be the northernmost extent of it. And of course, we'll fine tune that as we get a little bit closer. So there's the chance for a slick spot in the morning, not a huge concern. And then tomorrow it's 40s to low 50s with sun breaking through finally in the afternoon, the high 52 in Burlington and then 50 in Bellows Falls. So moving forward, impact weather Thursday night into Friday morning with that snow mainly south of Burlington. Halloween cold and sunny and then we fall back going into Sunday, the clocks that is an hour. Election day looks dry at this point with temps in the mid 40s, guys. Hello, thank